Okay, thank you very much for hosting. Uh, it's a fantastic experience. I, I just gave a package demo two days ago. It's great to have the real audience in the auditorium, uh, in the lecture room <laughs> while I'm doing virtual. So today I will present a package called Reuse Data. Uh, it's an open source, open development tool for reusable and reproducible genomic data management. To note that the Reuse Data uh, is now available on GitHub and we are in the final stages of wrapping it up. Uh, to submit to Bioconductor in the next one or two months. So a typical data analysis flow usually uh, starts with the data, um, right? So there are different data types. The mo uh, first and most importantly, experiment data uh, within a specific experiment design. So for example, ISIC data for a specific disease. And the second is the reusable genomic data sets. Uh, that we use in many different uh, research projects, such as the reference genome or a gene or variant annotation files that you add annotations for gene functions or uh, things like that. So today we will focus on the second uh, data type the, and talk about how to effectively uh, manage this data locally and uh, how to effectively reuse this data in your uh, data analysis. Okay, we show all of them together. So traditionally, if you want to use one of the, uh, here I'm showing the reference genome from 1000 Genomes project, the first steps, uh, the first step you will need to download the data and do some uh, basic data curation, such as to index the reference genome. The second step is for the manage the data locally and uh, put them in a specific, uh, the, a common lab practice would be, um, use a designated folder for a specific projects or use a shared folder uh, within a research lab. And the third step is to use the data in your um, data analysis workflows or uh, in the e uh, exploratory data analysis in using R. So there can be many challenges in the data management without a standardized uh, local data management system. <laughs> uh, the data files can be disordered hard to find or even redundant <laughs> from repeated downloading uh, due to a lack of tracking of meta information such as the source URL. And usually um, the data same data set in many different uh, research projects. So on um, Repeated processing the same data set in a similar way in different projects uh, can result uh, very uh, like a very inefficient uh, data storage and computing resources. So to address these challenges, we have uh, developed a package called Reuse Data. So with the aim to improve the data reusability and reproducibility for reusable genomic data resources. And also we aim to create a shareable data sets that are ready to pass into genomic analysis workflows. Especially this will be used uh, to be shared within the same research lab uh, or a shared facility uh, so that they can uh, make use of the same data sets without like uh, those inefficient repeated downloading. So the main feature of the, the reuse data is that we use a workflow-based data recipe to manage those data uh, processing, data downloading and data pr processing uh, scripts. Uh, so okay. this will be based on the CWL uh, workflow and uh, be used to standardize the genomic data management. <clears throat> so with the data recipes, we have functions to, uh, it creates a local cache to create a local cache uh, of the data recipes so that you can search the recipe and use the get data to generate the data locally with the full annotations. So uh, for reuse data, the first step is uh, to use the, the pre-built data recipes, which uh, includes the, the scripts for data downloading, curation, and all the data proof processing tools such as the uh, like an indexing tool uh, we'll be uh, used we'll be using the docker so that the recipes are uh, more self-contained and uh, reproducible and it has some built-in code for adding the meta information so when you 
uh, generate the data from the recipe, uh, there will be uh, keywords and uh, meta information added automatically. So the second step is to generate the data locally. So it will create a local cache for all the data and uh, which are more trackable and searchable with all the like, oh, here the argument knows you can add all the keywords over here, which can be used for the later data search. The third step is to use the data. We can search the data using keywords by simply adding the like tag to B37 over here and the specific feature of our package is that we use the hashtag to uh, denote a specific tool that can um, return all the data set that can be passed to this tool. So we have functions to add a tag for uh, when you generate the data. You can add a tag for the uh, download uh, for the downstream software so that you can search it. <laughs> I'm looking at the tag. So, and uh, also, if when you use the data, we have a convenient functions to convert the data into specific formats, such as JSON, uh, so that they're like ready to be passed into workflows. Okay, uh, take home message. So, uh, reuse data use recipes to standardize the data access and pre processing for the reusable genomic data sets. And the data recipes are CWI based for reuse and reproduce. And the data uh, is not only for um, public data sets that can be reusable, it can also be used for data management of your yourself uh, experiment data from your lab. And it uh, creates ready to share curated data sets. And uh, reuse data provides the streamlined uh, functions to, um, to pass the data into uh, downstream data analysis workflows. And uh, we have a special feature of uh, software-based data recipes, which can you can where you can search the data then can be passed to a specific software tool. Uh, not too fast. <laughs> that was great. Thank you. Do you have any questions for Chiang? The questions in the chat. I can sh uh... right then. Do you have a question or if you think of some, you have a question? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just going to ask about the RCWL um, kind of infrastructure. How does it handle like jobs that fail? Does it reschedule it automatically? Is that easy to do? Um, yes, I, I, yeah, I think, I think we have, uh, like at some point we have added these functionalities and, uh, if it is, uh, so I, I will have to check, I will have to, have to check like how, how it works now. I, I think, I think that that can be absolutely added since the CWL supports like the workflow languages support that function and we can add it to our CWL. Oh, great. Thank you. You're going to give it a test stop? Yeah. Excellent. So, so yeah, Vince is going to give a talk for Nitesh. Can we get this guy to 